Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to another tutorial from the SketchUp Modeling. I'm Surush Designer. Today we want to talk about how we can model this image. As you can see, one type of TV wall design with some repeatable lines and one console in here. So I'm going to start drawing it. I minimize my screen. I use SketchUp for the modeling. My version is 2022. So I'm going to change my unit from meter to centimeter at the first I'm gonna do it like that okay let's get to work at the first I'm gonna draw some type of floor and this floor dimension may be 600 to 600 I'm gonna increase it by the uh, extrude option every number I want and I'm going to check these lines like that and create some type of wall for it, something like 10 cm. I'm going to extrude the thickness like that, about 300 cm. So now uh, I'm going to make a group in here. So I start my TV wall design drawing. I start with this shelf up there. So I think the shelf's distance between the roof maybe something near to 50 like that and the shelves uh, actually extrudation is about six centimeter so uh, I'm gonna start with some place like this and I draw some line like that and the shelves weightnesses I think 250 is good now I'm gonna draw some rectangle in this tape measure lines and I extruded something like maybe 20 centimeter. All right. Now I'm gonna click on it. I create some type of group in here. So uh, I'm gonna draw this type of repeatable lines. As you can see, I'm gonna draw this rectangle from upstairs to the downstairs. And I think the number about, for example, maybe something about 180 to the uh, 4 is a good number I'm gonna click on it and extrude it about 1.6 now I'm gonna click on it I create some another group I open my group Control A now I'm gonna make some copy of it maybe each wood between other wood have some distance about maybe 1.6 centimeter so I'm gonna add it I type 5.6 like that and now I'm gonna type my number I think something about 25 X maybe good but it's a little bit low I'm gonna increase it to the uh, 46 X like that now it's good so I'm gonna click on it like that and check this one out like this so our TV wall created very simple and easy. So time for the uh, creating this console in here. This console is something about some type of rectangle with the height of 30 and the watts of 250. So I'm gonna draw some rectangle with some widths about 250 to the uh, 30 like that. I'm gonna extrude it as I can. Maybe 30 is a good number for the depth of it. And increase a little bit of the height about six centimeter I'm gonna click on it and change the position in the SketchUp I fit it with this repeatable lines now I'm gonna create some type of offset for it I think the offset is something of 1.6 and about the uh, upper side I think I must do check it a little bit down something about 1.6 like that so uh, I need some two doors for it so from the right side I'm gonna copy this line maybe something about for example 66 is good number like this and maybe it's a little bit too uh, high but uh, don't have any problem because we just want to model it so I'm gonna increase about 26 and increase 
this line about 26 again now maybe it's much realistic than the past so I'm gonna extrude this face back about 28 centimeter and uh, I think these doors is good I just need to a little offset them very smoothly about 0.4 centimeter and 0.4 centimeter for another one now I'm gonna extrude it a little bit like that and do this for the same each other okay I'm gonna click on it and create some other group now time for creating the TV I'm gonna draw some other rectangle something like maybe a little bit bigger like this about 180 to the 100 all right I'm gonna click it group it now I'm gonna extrude it a little bit something about three centimeter we have some holder in there maybe something like rectangle from the backward so I'm gonna offset this TV frame something like that very simple and easy I type 1.4 for the TV frame now I'm gonna extrude it back about 0.1 so uh, I think everything is good I'm gonna click on it now I'm gonna change the position of this TV on the wall I set it in there and I'm gonna move it to the middle point of this TV wall design like that from here to here something about 70 so half of the 70 is 35 I'm going to type 35 and I want to push it a little bit downside I think this height is good I'm going to type 60 now I think everything is done uh, I want to model this window in here so uh I come to the uh, wall I click on it actually the distance between the TV wall design and this window is uh, very lower than our model so I'm gonna extrude this wall something like that about 140 and another 140 from here to here like this and from this side I think maybe some type of things like that is good and do it in every dimensions okay I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna move it to the origin point so uh, I'm gonna click on the camera position and as you can see we can create this type of viewpoints in the SketchUp so uh, I'm gonna click on it I want to create this window in here I use tape measure option I tape measure it about 56 centimeter and another for the window about 180 and another one about 260 so I'm gonna draw some rectangle in here and extrude it back so we have the window frame in here and I want to create some another window for it so I'm gonna draw some rectangle from here to here and I created a, as a component I'm gonna make some copy of it in this place so now I'm gonna extrude it and create some window very simple and easy and fast so I'm gonna offset it at the first some offset about six centimeter second offset about four centimeter and last offset about two centimeter so uh, I'm gonna click on the extrude option I'm gonna press control and extrude my window frames something about four centimeter three centimeter and two centimeter so uh, I think our window is ready I'm gonna click on them and push them back so I'm gonna come to the uh, camera position someplace like this actually I must reduce my 
height so I'm going to type 160 and I want to press it on the two-point camera perspective and Control S I type as the uh, TV wall image and save it I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe don't forget it please subscribe us I will tell you at the next session how we can render this model like the picture exactly so I hope you'll be fine and goodbye